right, so how do you add chords to a tune? Well, these are called passing chords, and there are many different types of passing chords, but there's one particular passing chord technique that I love to use on tunes, and it works almost 99% of the time. So if you're tired of playing the same chords on tunes, and you wanna start adding chords to your arrangements, this is a must-know technique. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so for today's lesson, we're gonna use the classic jazz tune, Autumn Leaves. Right, beautiful melody, and it's a great example of a tune that you can add these passing chords to. So first, I wanna talk about the basic chords in Autumn Leaves, and then I wanna show you exactly how I add passing chords to this tune. So we're playing the tune in the standard key of E minor. Right, and then if we just look at the simple chords, we have an A minor seven for the first chord, and then like a D seven for the second chord, and then maybe a G major seven for the third chord. Right, these are just the standard chords from the lead sheet or from a fake book, okay? F sharp minor seven, flat five, right? Uh, B seven is our next chord generally, and then we end on an E minor seven. Okay, so these are the standard chords from Autumn Leaves. So how does a jazz pianist then take those chords and add a bunch of chords in the middle? Okay, well that's what I'm gonna show you next. But before we do this, if you're enjoying this lesson, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. All right, so how am I adding all of these chords to this tune? Well, I'm using a very cool technique called tritone substitution, and here's how it works. Let's look at the second chord in this tune, this D7 chord right here, or D dominant seven. Okay, so a D7 has D, F sharp, A, and C. Okay. Now, the most important notes in a chord are the third and the seventh of the chord, right? One, three, five, seven, okay? So if you look at these two notes, F sharp and C, the third and the seventh, this is also the third and the seventh of another chord. This is the third and the seventh of an A flat seven chord. You hear that? In fact, if you play an A flat seven chord like this, the third and the seventh are C and F sharp, except they're just inverted down, okay? So the D7 and the A flat seven are substitute chords, meaning you can swap the chords for one another. Well, guess what else you can do? You can add an A flat seven in after the D7 chord, because they're kind of like sister chords. They're related to one another, or they're in the same family. And so after this D7 chord, you can add an A flat seven chord. And so this becomes our first passing chord in this tune. And so now the chord progression goes from this to this. sound way better. Now notice that this A flat dominant seven chord is just a half step above the target chord of G major seven. And so this sets up a very important principle of adding passing chords, which is this. You can add a passing chord a half step above your target chord as long as the passing chord is a dominant seven chord. So let's use another example here. Let's say we're trying to target this C major seven chord here. This is the target chord. Well, I can add a passing chord by going up a half step above that C and making it a dominant seven chord. So in this case, just before the C major seven, I can add a D flat seven and so it creates a really cool chord progression. Now with this second passing chord here, Autumn Leaves will sound like this. Okay. So if you take this simple idea and you apply it to the whole tune of Autumn Leaves, you get all of these additional passing chords that you can add in. So check out all of the new chords that you can now add to Autumn Leaves. So I'm gonna take the melody up the octave. We'll start on our A minor seven chord, but instead of just playing our D seven chord, we're gonna add in that tritone substitute chord. And remember, it's just a half step above the target chord. So we're gonna go to an E flat dominant seven chord, and you can add this chord in between the A minor seven and the D seven. So it sounds like this. 
Doesn't that sound amazing? And so we've added basically all of these tritone substitute chords, D7, A flat, dominant seven, G major seven. Next chord is a C major seven chord, but we're gonna add a D flat dominant seven before it. And then our next chord is an F sharp minor seven flat five, but we're gonna add a G seven above it. And here's our next chord. And then our next chord would be a B seven, but we're gonna add a C seven above it. Does this make sense? And then the next chord would be an E seven, but we're gonna put an F7 in front of it. Okay, does that make sense? Also, toward the end of this chord progression, you can add a little tritone substitute chord in between the E minor seven chords, okay? And so this is what I would practice first, is just go through this tune and play all these tritone substitute chords. So we have the melody, A minor seven, E flat seven, D seven, A flat seven, and then G major seven, D flat seven, C major seven, G dominant seven, F sharp minor seven flat five, C seven, and your B seven, and then the F seven, and then the E minor seven, and we'll throw that tritone substitute in here, and then back to your E minor seven. Now I know some of the notes in these chords clash a little bit with the melody, but in the next step, I'm gonna show you how to voice the chords with the melody to make them sound amazing. But before we do this, if you're enjoying this lesson and you wanna do a deep dive on how you can add passing chords to your chord progressions, check out our Passing Chords and Reharmonization course over at pianowithjohnny.com. In these courses, I teach you eight essential passing chord techniques and how to use them in your chord progressions and and we have a course for beginner to intermediate level players and intermediate to advanced level players. So I'll put a link to that below. All right, now that you understand how to use the tritone substitute chords to add passing chords to your chord progressions, how do you take these chords and actually make them sound good on a tune like Autumn Leaves? Because right now, that doesn't sound very good, but this sounds good. So I'm gonna show you a beginner approach to what I just played if you're more on the beginner side, and then I'll show you a more advanced approach if you're on the advanced side. Okay, beginner players, how do you take these tritone substitute chords and make them sound good? Well, I'm gonna start with my melody. And basically, I'm gonna spread the chord out like this. So this is our A minor seven chord. Okay, and then here's my tritone substitute chord, E flat seven, right in the middle and then we drop down to our D7. That's it, okay? So once more, A minor seven, E flat seven, D seven, then the melody, and then here's our A flat seven, right? It sounds kind of cool. And then G major seven, right? So we're gonna grab that B by itself. There's the G major seven, spreading out the D flat seven, and then there's the C major seven, right? There's our G chord, F sharp minor seven flat five is the next chord. Sounds pretty nice, A by itself. There's the original chord. The tritone substitute chord, the C7, drops down to the B7, doesn't that sound great? And then there's our F, sounds kind of cool. And then E minor seven, right? G by itself, there's our E minor seven, tritone substitute, F7 back to our E minor seven, and then this is the tritone substitute for our target chord, which is A minor seven, right? We're going back to the beginning, so we're gonna go to a B flat seven. So we have, and then that drops back down. All right, here it is at a medium tempo if you wanna practice along with me, and then I'll show you the advanced approach. One, two, three, four, one. By the way,
way, if you're enjoying this lesson and you want to do a deep dive on how to actually arrange autumn leaves in a beautiful jazz swing style, check out our autumn leaves courses over at pianowithjohnny.com. I walk you through the entire arranging process and how to add different left hand bass lines, how to harmonize your chords, how to solo over this tune. So I'll put a link to those courses below. All right, so if you have some more experience playing jazz piano and you want to voice your chords in a more interesting way, I might play it more like this. So what exactly am I doing? Well, I'm starting with my melody, but I'm landing on a beautiful A minor 11 chord. So I'm just playing my A minor seven, right? But I'm adding the D for some color to this chord. Okay, now for my passing chords, ooh, what the heck are we doing here? Well, I'm playing an E flat seven chord, but I'm adding a C called the 13. This is a chord extension that you can add to your dominant chords. Okay, you see that? And then this drops down to a D 13 chord. It's a D seven with an added 13. And then the melody, there's our A flat seven chord and then G flat major nine, really beautiful G major seven chord, but I'm adding the A down there, the nine, to give it some color. Again, this is a chord extension. If you wanna learn more about chord extensions, you can in our chord extensions course. I'll put a link to that below, okay? So G major seven, and then check this out. Ooh, D flat seven, this is our passing chord. And that's a standard D flat seven. We're just adding the nine and the 13. Again, chord extensions. There's our C chord. We're making this a C six nine chord. Melody. There's our G seven, right? Passing chord. We're adding a nine to this chord to make it sound interesting. F sharp minor seven flat five. This is a beautiful chord. The normal notes of the chord are these, but I'm adding that B, which is the 11, okay, to color the chord. Again, it's a chord extension. Ooh, there are these passing chords again, the C7, right, standard chord, but I'm adding the nine in there to color it, and I'm adding the 13, okay? Then this drops down, and that sound beautiful, okay? This is a B13 chord. And then, right, there's our F7, right, standard chord, melody, and then we land on a beautiful E minor 11 chord. Again, there's a standard E minor seven chord, but we're just adding the 11 to color it. And then this is our passing chord F7, right? We're adding the nine and the 13, and then we're back to our E minor 11, okay? And then if you wanna repeat it, right? There's our B flat seven, and then we can drop into our A minor seven. All right, advanced pianists, if you want to practice along with me, here it is at a medium tempo. One, two, three, four. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this lesson, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step courses for all playing levels where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.